Hello guys again, we are back with this unreleased video of unboxing and installation of this Parkside Sliding Cross Cut Miner Saw Model PZKS 1500B2 And let's see some of the specs here Rated power as I said, 5000 RPM, 0 to 45 Miter adjustment, 45 degrees to plus 45 You see the specs Inside one dust collector bag, two tools for saw blade exchange, two replacement carbon brushes and here's some pictures. Inside this is for the motor, carbon brushes is because the motor may be of a long use of the motor, it may need to replace them. Let's see some pictures here. And from the other side and because this is unboxing it's time to open and see what uh, beautiful things we have inside okay inside we are going to find some steel brackets it's for assembling this bag for the dust collector and this is a manual if you don't know about these tools, it's good to read it. Some screws, Allen, Phillips, all inside. Some handle for assembling. Okay, this is the huge. Well, let's get it out from the box and see how it looks. And here it is out of the box and. Well, it feels something that is a good quality. Well, with this all included accessories, it is time to install those metal brackets that are going left and right, like that. Right. And we have a screw here, you can screw it very tight. Yeah, and the same from the other side. And all the way through, tight it very good. Next we have this handle, it goes here. Very nice. Of course we have the tools to do that. Next, the back clip, just do that and you can put it inside. Or you can install your own DIY uh, dust filter or your vacuum clean. Next, we must install and that, the handlebar. And this is going in the front. and it will help you to release this mechanism and go left and right. Let's see what is doing every part. Here we have the handle, we have the on-off switch, the other red, the release level. If you don't push it out, it's not going down. This is the motor. This is the movable blade dart, this plastic is moving as you're going down. Inside you will see the blade from part side of course. Next this is the clamping device, it can handle your woods and whatever you want to cut right and left, supporting your wood when you are cutting. This is the table insert aligning and then shows you uh, the centimeters. This is the uh, miter lock handle, miter detent lever and next we have the, the miter angle pointer, it's down there. It goes all the way. And all that adjustments how to you want to cut your wood of course. We are not forgetting inside we have a laser beam 
and it shows you how you're cutting all through here and this is the unit that is turning right and left when we are putting this baton we have four holes you can screw your machine into your concrete table and your wooden table and you can work and this is, is the stop rail and you can adjust it of course from here all this is adjustable this is the stop cut limiter the depth that you want to cut of course you can adjust it from here and lock it this is the curry handle, you can... And this is the bevel angle scale and the bevel angle pointer. And, and behind is the bevel locking screw. You can release it like that. And all the way back and again front and release it. And the same thing to tie it. The adjustment screw for 45 angle and this on off switch is for the laser and this is a screw here but it locks in down position not going anywhere just release it and this is the carbon brushes that you can install it right and left of the motor. We have a screw here and install this new one when you need it. And for replacing your blade, the only thing you have to do is unscrew this. Okay, just push this push all the way up and then here at releasing you have the allen inside and just like you can release it and change the blade. And after you have replaced your blade, let's create that again and then good to go. And when you want to turn it left and right, just unlock a little bit that, push it and goes all the way that you want. And here we have some adjustment numbers, degrees, 45 degrees, plus or minus. And lock it again, just like that. And this is the drop guide and here we have a lock screw you can release it and it goes like that some rubber here to stop it smoothly and you want if you want you can lock it again and work well guys, that was all about the unboxing and installation of this Parkside sliding cross cut minor saw model PZKS 1500B2. This is the unreleased video, you can see the testing video right in the corner, how it works and if you want to buy it. And with all that guys, this is the end of the video, thank you again for watching, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like or dislike my videos, your choice, share this video, you never know who may need it. And don't forget hit the notification bell because more videos in the future are coming and you don't want to miss it. Have a nice lovely day. Bye bye.